This is News Trail, your daily dose. Hello there and thanks for connecting. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to News Trail. This Wednesday, 16th June 2021, I am Adetola Kayode. You welcome. Nigerians who are yet to get vaccinated can now do so as the federal government has reopened the administration of the first dose of the Oxford AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine in various parts of the country. The executive director of the National Primary Healthcare Development Agency, Dr. Faisal Shuaib, says those who are above 18 and are yet to be vaccinated can do so from now as new consignment of vaccines are expected any time from now. He also enjoined those who have received the first dose to go for the second one within six and 12 weeks of receiving the first dose before 25th of June when vaccinations for the second dose will close. As of June 15, almost 2 million first doses of the vaccines have been administered, while almost 700,000 have had their second dose of AstraZeneca vaccine. Nigerians have been asked to support the military in tackling the challenges of insecurity in the country. The new Chief of Army Staff Major General Farouk Yahya made this call during screening by the Joint Committees on Army and Defense of the House of Representatives. Contrary to public perception, Yahya says there's been synergy among security agencies since tackling insurgency, especially since the emergence of the new service chiefs. A former general commander of Operation Hadin Kai's appointment came days after the immediate past Army Chief, Lieutenant General Ibrahim Atayiru died in an air crash in Kaduna along with 10 other military officials. Israel says it has carried out airstrikes against Hamas militant targets in Gaza in retaliation for incendiary balloons launched from the territory. Explosions were heard in Gaza City in the early hours of Wednesday. Several balloons were sent from Gaza into Israel earlier on Tuesday, causing multiple fires, according to the Israeli fire service. It is the first major flare-up since 11 days of fighting between the two sides ended in a ceasefire on 21st of May. It followed a march by Jewish national nationalists who occupied East Jerusalem on Tuesday, which had drawn threats from Hamas, the militant group that runs Gaza. And that's it on your show for today. Many thanks for connecting. Please do not forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Aditola Kayode. Enjoy the rest of today.